Welcome back to Box Across Breakdown, everybody. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Today, we're going to be looking at two different variations of ISO plays on offense, or in other words, one on ones. First look is from the Whippy Warriors Junior A team, and let's just look at how many righties there are on the floor right now. We've got one, two, three, four. Four righties. And the reason why we have four righties on the floor currently is just to kind of overload that side of the floor. One of them is actually going to go behind the net to be kind of an outlet, but just watch when we swing the ball over to lefty here. Just look at that. We have so much space to take this ball to the rack. And they run this look specifically for number 51 Poitras all the time. And I know he's just licking his lips, just ready to take this guy one-on-one. -on -one. And he does. Does a great job of faking underneath, getting to the middle, and banning one home. Also want to point out the off-ball offensemen do a great job of keeping the defenders busy to negate a slide from happening to negate this one-on-one -on -one from happening. Now let's take a look at the second variation from the Miners Lacrosse Club. So instead of overloading one side, this time we're just strong side right, and we're going to move the ball to the weak side. A couple of things I want to point out here. Um, this offensive man is going to set what's called a cross floor pick, so he's going to go to his wrong side of the floor instead of pick. Okay, he's basically just vacating. And that essentially just creates space for the one-on-one -on -one to happen up top with the ball carrier. Which brings us to our next point, the ball carrier. Look how high he's catching this ball. He's going to have a full head of steam going at this defender to make this one-on-one -on -one iso, whatever you want to call it, way more effective. And let's watch the results. Lots of space for a one-on-one. -on -one. Again, rolls back to the middle, takes a shot, bangs one home. Great play. That's it for today's video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Just a couple different variations of how to run ISOs in box lacrosse and the best ways to do them, essentially. Um, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.